Uh, well, MMS was fantastic. It was a great event. Uh, met great people. When I showed up, though, you know, they didn't have uh, rooms ready. I go to check in. They said, we don't have a room. Like, this is a hotel. What are you talking about? You know, rooms, ton, tons of rooms. You know, you have to, I'm sure there's a room. So they said it was, it was being, it was cleaned, but they had to, it had to pass cleaning inspection. So I said, listen, with, you know, with me, you should see my basement. You don't have to inspect anything. You don't even have to clean it. Don't worry about it. Just, just let me in the room. You're going to see a new setting that says remove default Microsoft Store packages from the system. Whatever you want to remove, you just flip to on. Microsoft is now building this directly into Intune. If I search for news, gone. If I come up here and look for Copilot, there's no Copilot app. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today we're going to look at how to remove bloatware from Windows 11 with Intune policy. I mean, my standards are so low, it's not even an issue. Solving for the modern workplace. All right, so something that always plagues us with Windows uh, that still persists with 11 is bloatware. Like you see apps like, uh, you know, maybe ClipChamp, or you see, you know, maybe you don't want the Weather app or Xbox app, and, and they all just come with Windows. And even if you, uh, you know, upgrade to Windows 11 Enterprise, they're not going anywhere. Since 2015 and Windows 10, we've tried different things to remove them. Uh, we had PowerShell scripts to get them out. You could try setting them as uninstall with Intune apps. Uh, Michael Niehaus has the autopilot branding script. There's a bunch of third party, you know, de bloating uh, things out there. But, you know, it always seemed they would come back or there was some kind of an issue. And now Microsoft has done what we finally all want. We have some built in policy. So I'm going to show this to you now. So in Intune, when you navigate to device, windows, configuration, we're going to make a new policy and we're going to call it. Well, hold on. I have to select it first. It's going to be for Windows 10 and later, and it's going to be settings catalog. We're going to hit create. We're going to call it dbloat windows 11. We're going to add a setting and we're going to look for app package. So you're going to find app package deployment. You're going to see a new setting that says remove default Microsoft Store packages from the system. And when you drag that down, you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, applications here. So let's add all of them and then take a look at the setting. So if we enable that, um, you can turn on the removal of any app you want. And, you know, you could do Copilot, News, Photos. So basically the master setting gets turned on and then you go through and, and pick what you want, right? So whatever you want to remove, you just flip to on. Windows Terminal, well, you might want, want to do that. So, hmm, maybe it's not really bloatware. Everyone's got their own definition of bloatware, right? Generally, it's like, you know, it could be things that the OEM puts on and stuff from Microsoft, but make sure you go through the list because there's going to be some things you probably want to keep, right? If you have developers, you want terminal on there. Uh, you're going to want maybe the notes app sticky. So don't just blindly remove everything. Think about it first because some of these are useful tools. So I think the best way to look at this is they're pre-configured Microsoft apps more than just general, you know, bloat. Once you have that all set, just assign this like you would any other policy. Now we come here to an enrolled device. Yes, my wallpaper is awesome. Well, let's take a look in the registry here so we can see if the policy applied. So uh, you can go to H key local machine. We're going to go to software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, AppX. And you should see this if, if it worked, you should see this remove default Microsoft Store packages. Right, so that's the policy uh, that governs all of them. And then under that individually, you're gonna see an, and under that individually, you're gonna see an entry for every policy that you enabled the removal of. So if you look here at news, you're gonna see uh, remove package is a one, so that's enabled. So that, that should be gone. If I search for news, gone. Copilot, if I come up here and Look for Copilot. There's no Copilot app, right? So it, it does remove all these for you. Now, the one caveat, of course, is you need to be on Windows 11 uh, 25H2 build for that to work. Uh, so make sure that you're on that. If you're on 24H2, nothing's been backported yet. And who knows if it's going to. So it does have to be 25H2. 
So even if you might not be there yet on your Windows build, you're going to be there eventually. And it's good to know Microsoft is now building this directly into Intune. So it's one less thing we have to worry about scripting our way around. And it's just policy. Uh, on that note, there are some ways to add additional apps. If Microsoft doesn't have them there, that we are going to do through PowerShell scripts in the registry. But one step at a time. Let me know your thoughts on this in the Discord and we'll be seeing you.